Hey everybody, Matthew and Lee and Josh here from MiniWorkingMe.com and welcome to another episode of Gorka Borka. <laughs> I missed. It's good. We're all good. Pretty close. We're pretty close. <laughs> This is game number two. If this is the first one you're jumping into, there'll be links in the video description below to go and watch the intro in game number one. And of course, go to miniwargaming.com slash gorkamorka to download our custom rules and any custom scenarios that we come up with there as well. We will publish all of the stuff that we do there. And lastly, before we get into the game, don't forget our special offer. If you're not a Vault member, if you use a link in the video description below to sign up for a free seven day trial, then you can access the entire Gorkamorka campaign even if you cancel your vault membership. You don't get to access it right away it's, as it comes out. It's just if you've canceled your vault membership, you still get access to everything that goes into the vault. Because this is the only week where everything is going out for free. After this, only one episode per week out of either two, three, or four, whatever week film each week will be free. The rest will be in the vault. So make sure you sign up for that. This offer goes away by the time that next week's episodes come out. So I'm sorry if you're watching this much later and you've already missed it, but that is what it is. You can still sign up for the vault and get access to the whole campaign though. So we've got Josh and Lee here to face off in their first ever game to see who can gain entry to Mech Town because you're, you have to win one game before the mechs will even talk to your guys. So you won't be able to do certain upgrades. You can still do gubbins and get new equipment, but you just can't upgrade your guns and your truck with all the cool stuff that you could do. And we've got a new table set up, ready for another game. And we're going to play the same scenario as in the first game, which was We Was Your First. It's a good starting scenario, because you just put scrap counters on the table and you fight for them. And you hopefully both get income out of it and work the mines afterwards and get some upgrades. So let's take a look at the mobs and the table. The mobs facing off, first off, is the, what's yours called again? The Gob Smashes. The Gob Smashes. You have a mob rating of 123. And you got your knob with his huge chop. Oh no, sorry, it's just a regular chopper and a shield, yeah. right? It looks huge, but you can't have an huge chop on a shield. It just doesn't work because uh, the huge chop is two-handed. And then some boys with chopper sluggers, heavy shooter with your gunner, and then your spanner is driving your truck. And then we got the desert squigs, which you may or may not be able to see here because they are so well camoed with their truck with a rocket launcher. They got the knob with the huge chopper to counter the uh, the knob on the other side of the shield. And we got uh, some boys with shooters. All three of them with shooters. They, we've got two shooters, and then the other guy gives it there is my second spanner. He's got a slugger. So you got a second spanner in preparation for buying another vehicle? Awesome. And we are going to play on this cool table with some pretty big terrain. So it's a bit more terrain than the first game, which is dangerous. But both vehicles are tracked, so they don't care about the scrap as much, meaning the dangerous terrain or the difficult terrain. We've got five scrap counters, one at each of these ruined vehicles. And then we've got an abandoned mine here that has three scrap counters around it as well, just to represent some of the leftover scrap. And then, oh sorry, there's six scrap counters in total because then we have one right here. So very, very dangerous. These are pretty much just impassable, but there is ways around it and through it, of course. And don't forget in the We Was Ear First scenario, we roll off, one player chooses a side for deployment and deploys wholly within eight inches, and then the other player has the opposite side, and then we roll to see who goes first. And it's the game ends as soon as one side bottles out. Or one side is totally down. Roll for deployment. Lee gets a five. So Lee gets to choose a side and deploy. You gonna pick this side? Yes, sir. Deploy wholly within eight inches. Deploys hiding behind this rock. And on the opposite side, we have Josh's Warband. Now let's roll to see who goes first. Lee gets five and three again. So that means Lee gets first turn. Now I should uh, should point out one more rule, is the your cowardly grot. So at any point in anybody's turn, a knob can challenge the other knob. And if that knob deny or declines, he loses D6 experience from the experience he gains in this mission. But if they accept, then the knobs can only shoot at each other or the vehicle that they're in. They can assault whoever they want, but they can only shoot at the other knob or the vehicle. So, uh, one of me boys, I'm gonna jump out. Oops. Start heading over to the scrap. Mm hmm. It is the point of the mission. Follow him. Same thing? Yeah. Here. Number three. 
Got a handy little thing there. I yeah. measured from there because it hits your measuring tape That's at the end. Good. And moving in on three. I'm gonna throw six. Six inches on a two plus. Yep, you're good. Four. Gonna jump out and try to grab that scrap over there. Because you already did a thrust move, you put it in base contact first, and then you gotta pass an initiative test, initiative three, or. Oh, you made it! And if you failed that, then he wouldn't be able to move any further, and he would take a strength four hit on a four, or strength, strength three hit on a four plus. So he successfully leaps out of the vehicle and grabs that scrap. My boys are running. Six inches each, as long as they stay out of the scrap. We're running! To here, Duder, run over to here. Oi! I don't think they can see us. Whoa! But they got camo. Where'd they go? <laughs> and Josh's team gets to go next. Start off three inches forward. Yeah, go another three. Oh! Just jumping off a little early. Yeah, I'm gonna turn ever so slightly. Anybody gonna get it off? Yep. Should point out that you can interrupt vehicle movement. So you could have it move, get off, and then thrust away. So it does kind of break some of the regular 40k rules for that. And he will just move up to the scrap. Other boy is gonna jump off as well. And get him up to about there. Shooting phase, he's gonna run up. He doesn't, actually, he doesn't actually pick up the scrap. No. He's gotta finish his movement phase in base contact. So I'm just going to actually keep him just a quarter inch away, just to represent that. And the guy with the scrap is going to just run to here, get ready to jump back on next turn. Yeah, half distance, so three inches. Yep. And nobody's in range to shoot, so back to Lee. So, my boy's going to take his scrap. Spanner, get back on. So now the scrap is no longer carried by him, it's now carried by the vehicle and counts it as a gubbins for hit locations. Three. And good turn. Hello. And three. Turn a bit. Like so. And more, yeah. more scrap. If you stick on the outside of that scrap, you can definitely get there. Picks up a second one. And hut, hut it over to the other one. Run over. And the shooting phase, I'm gonna run over here. Just keep him a quarter inch away just to show that he's not carrying it. Yep. And he's gonna... It was quarter speed, half speed for yeah. carrying the scrap, and another half speed for being on difficult mm -hmm. terrain. Jump in here. Oh. Just try to get some cover. There you go. Heavy shooter? Nope. No. Gotta check range. Uh, this is my heavy shooter. Heavy shooter. You gonna fire at little beret boy? Yeah. I'm not here! But the red beret gave you away. Now, Evie shoot has two shots with full auto, so you're gonna go all out. Yeah. Two sustained fire dice, three shots. All right, at least you can get a weapon jam. And he's gonna shoot the duder. Yeah, hitting on fours. Oh, but we got an ammo check. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's throw the ammo check, four plus. We're you're good. good. And then you wound him at strength five, so three's to wound. It's a wound, AP five. And he's out in the open, so no cover. So injury table, and it's a five, so he's knocked down. He wasn't carrying scrap, right? No. Okay, because he would have dropped it if he was. That's it for his turn. Everybody only has sluggas, so they are out of range to fire. Back to the... Oh, what's your name again? Desert Squigs. Desert Squigs, that's right. Start by having him jump back onto the truck. Three-inch movement is sufficient. Throw the scrap in there as well. The truck's going to move up three. Got a rocket launcher, which is going to be very dangerous. Pivot. Rocket launchers are strength six. And they do D3 hits on vehicles. And the vehicle bust is special go forward. Another three. You want to turn and run over your own guy? Not you, quite. You're loud. Turn so I just don't run him over. Gibbs it, the spanner, is going to jump out. And then he'll move on to the scrap. It, no initiative test required because you didn't use your thrusters yet. Or at all. Start off with the rocket launcher. Has and, into Lee's vehicle. No. It has a 90 degree front arc, so he is able to see it. We checked it. What's the skill of your gunner? It's just, uh, it's just three? Yep. Four is to hit. Oh, it oh, hits! Oh. Uh-oh. D3 hits. Three strength six hits. Three locations. We've got a wheels, gubbins, 
and the driver. All those are strength or armor eight, yep. but we'll do them one at a time. So you need two plus to the pen. You got it. So that hits the govins, which is just a scrap on a four plus. It's knocked off, so nothing happens. Wheels next on a two plus, the penetrating hit. That's a one, it's a nothing. And the driver. Oh! oh yes. Whoa! Survived oh. a solid rocket launcher hit. That is pretty awesome. We have the fellow with the shooter that jumped back on take a shot into the truck as well. The fella. Fella? No, he's a fella. Gimzit's gonna shoot as well with his slugger. Misses. Nope. The guy on the ground is gonna snap fire. Do you want a full auto with shooter? He might as well full auto. He's just lying down there going, ah! Go, 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 go. Really just spraying off. And he's got the jams. Mm -hmm. Four plus, he's okay. Nope, oh, he's no. out of ammo. He dropped it when he fell down. Nob's gonna shoot his shooter into the truck as well. Are you gonna full auto? No. Oh, chicken. Not yet. Chicken. And on three. See, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. Well, that was interesting. Rocket direct hit, explosions everywhere. And then uh, no real damage done. It was done. a dud. It was a dud. <laughs> no, it blew up. It did three locations with its explosion. It just, boom! And when the smoke passed, these guys are still driving through, and they're just like, whatever. End of your turn, though. Knockdown and stunned effects are expired. Truck's gonna move on up. Turn. Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. Um. Uh -oh. Another three. Nob's jumping out. Let's get him, boys! Wait for me, boss. I'm a coming. Move and pick up that scrap. Mine! He's gonna try to. Wait for me, boss! Oh, Amber over this scrap here. Yeah, he's slow. One and a half inches are difficult. Let's grab. Well, he's almost back. And the boy's gonna run. Three inches. So fast. Oh yeah. Not so fast. And Mr. Speedy is gonna run out here. One and a half inches. Finally out of the scrap. With his scrap. This guy's gonna shoot this duder. You can't see him. Half of him is camoed. Worst of hits. Oh, it's a hit, but an ammo check. Why don't you roll your ammo check? Four plus. You're out of ammo, but you wound him on a four plus. That's a wound. Black armor, five plus. Not oh. saved. Injury table, plus one. Oh, that is definitely cocked. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is nice. down. Five experience for spanner number two. My heavy shooter is going to shoot your truck. Let's see what happens. Full auto. Whoa! Six shots. Six shots. That's how you fire a gun. Four is the hit. Oh no, you ruined it! So bad. At least you didn't roll any sixes. I can combine these, right? Yeah, those ones. <laughs> That's still only three hits. That's also pathetic, don't you think? Oh. No, oh, because a three is your average. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll oh, get lucky with the one shot. So the one shot hits. Where does it hit? Where does it hit? Engines! <laughs> okay, maybe only one shot is all you needed. He's like, I don't care, I'm getting the engines. Fives to glant or pen? No. Nope. Because nope. it's strength five versus armor ten for the engine. Even though that engine looks like it's a little exposed. Maybe it should only be armor eight. Oh, but that's not the real engine? No, no, no the real one's in the back. Oh, it's that's decoy. Nice. It's decoy. It's camouflage. That's actually pretty good. Uh, my driver's gonna shoot the truck. He's probably gonna take it out, though. With a slugger. Hits. And then location. Engines, oh, which, no. which means you need a six because of strength four versus armor ten. But if you get it, oh, good. <laughs> Into the assault phase now. We're using the Heralds of Ruin kill team special rules. This guy killed somebody, and so he could test. If he makes a leadership test, he can redirect his charge to one of the other guys. Otherwise, the reason he ran out of ammo is because he was so excited he's just shooting to this guy. <laughs> So why don't you throw that leadership check and then you can make a decision afterwards. Nope, no. he's too busy firing into the air and then all of a sudden click, 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 click. Wasting all his ammo. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so no, Nob's gonna charge, yeah, you're within two inches. Charger, I'm gonna come to get you. I want your scrap. You get to go first, being initiative four. Four attacks, he just has a regular chopper, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Well, he actually doesn't have anything. Well, he just has his knuckles and yeah. knives and stuff. So just regular close guard. 
hitting on threes. That looks like it's going to be three, but wow, we're waiting a while. Oh, no. no. It looked like no. a six for so long. And then you're wounding on three on uh, fours because your strength four on the charge. Nothing. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Two attacks back from your spanner. Gibbs it. Come on. Yeah. Gibbs it. Fours. One hit. Wounding on fives because he didn't charge. Gibbs me to five. <laughs> oh. Okay. Tie combat. Nobody goes anywhere. Mediocre. Josh, you're up. Let's start by going forward three. I don't know, we'll turn to look, uh, let's say this way. Oh no! <laughs> and then drive forward. Right, so he has to pass an initiative check to dodge out of the way. So initiative test on your, your guy, your boy. He's fine. Just move just enough so he's not... <laughs> look at him flip. Look at that agility. Give that guy a plus one agility. Do a barrel roll. Okay. Now he has one instead of zero. So there's no agility. And we're gonna turn. All right. Oh. Are you gonna get off before you yeah, do a head-on collision? You guys are getting off. Um, see, I don't know if I'm going forward or not. We know for sure. Rotsgobs jumping off to here. This AP4 huge shot, but I get through that four-up armor in close combat. And he's gonna hop off on that side. Well, he's gonna go pick a fight with the scrap wielders. Yep. Rocket going into Lee's truck. No head-on collisions. No head-on collisions. It's a bad hit. It's a hit. D3 hits. Oh, three again. Oh. Can you actually do something this time? <laughs> Locations. We've got fixed weapon, fixed weapon, no. engines. <laughs> fixed weapon, you have to get a two plus, and you do. Roll to see what happens to his heavy shooter. One, big and jammed. The weapon may not fire in its next turn. You hit the weapon, or hurt the weapon again, two plus. You do, and what happens to it? There, it is destroyed. Because this is slush clip destroyed, but it doesn't explode. So you can just, can you remove the weapon without removing the guy? I just put the other guy in. Then we got the engine hit. Now this is armor 10, strength 6, a fours. Oh, oh. failed. Mediocre. What other shooting you want to do? Next up we're going to have my boy shooting into his boy, stand fire die with a shooter. Any shots? Oh. Oh, weapon jam. Four plus. Okay, doesn't run out of ammo, just doesn't get to shoot. Rock up, gonna charge in against uh, Lee's knob. No. Not bad. That, that's gonna hurt. Bring it. You wanna try charging over here too? You bet. It's gonna be through a bit of difficult terrain, so you're gonna have to roll nice and high. Mm, that does it, because that'll be nine inches minus one for the difficult. So you're down to eight. Knob versus knob. Both the same initiative at least. And Lee's gonna swing first. Who do you want to put your attacks on? You can split these between the two if you like. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on his knob. Put it all on his knob? Yeah. All right, you're hitting on fours. No. All right, one hit, and you're wounding on a five. That's a wound! Heavy armor. You have, oh, you have heavy armor, four plus. Oh, no. it runs out of ammo. It doesn't, actually. What? <laughs> now, before you roll this, you could decide, no, never mind, he's initiative three. Yeah. So you could have him try to get the experience. Not that you'd want him to. Four attacks from the other knob. Huge chop of hitting on fours. Oh, three hits. Oh, oh you're, you're dead. Oh, boy. Twos to wound. Two wounds. So you roll twice in the injury table, adding nothing because he's a knob. So anything but a double one would do something. So that's a five. So he's knocked down. Which means the other guy gets to hit him for free because now he's weapon skill zero. Blah! So two auto hits, winning on fives. Oh, I should point out that he gets no experience for this because he's already down. So one wound. And you get a four up. Saved. And one more combat over here, both at initiative three. Let's start with the beret man. Three on the charge, four is to hit. Oh, no. Okay. And you get three attacks back because you got a slug a choppa. Four is to hit, one hit, and then wounding on fives. Oh, it's a wound. Ooh. And flak armor, five up. Not saved. So injury table, what do you get for him? What do you get for him? Plus one, six. He's out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. five experience for that guy over there. Good turn, knocking down his knob. Knocking the air right out of him, making him uh, not able to hit back. Weapon skill zero, snap firing any weapons. And doesn't count as engaged, so he could actually shoot at these guys. Although they get to hit him in close combat if he's still there. And everybody else is doing all right. They're happy where they are, except the heavy shooter. The gunner is really sad. He's whimpering right now. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? I'm gonna jump out. And get doesn't to that have, scrap. Doesn't have a gun anymore. Get to the scrap. Get to the scrap. Uh. Because when the, when Josh fails his bottle check, you want to be the one holding all the scrap. Won't fail it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Moving 
going up an inch. Right. So not intending to ram, apparently. I'm going to turn and knock everything down. And go over here and turn like so. Let's make sure that you're still front armor if he decides to ram. Yeah. Move it up. Ah, wait for me. So my boy's going to shoot his truck. With a slugger. Hey, you never know. Strength four. Four is to hit. That's a hit. Location. That would be the crew. Which was just the gunner. So the roll to see if you pen first. You need a four plus. It's a strength four versus armor eight. You got it. So this automatically, well, not necessarily automatically. It depends what you roll. So roll to see what happens. Five. Hit by shrapnel. So your gunner is going to take a strength four hit. Shrapnel smacks into this guy's face. On a four. Yup. Good thing you got flak armor on everybody. Five up. Okay, didn't matter. Went right through it. Hit him in the beret. Those things aren't meant to take a hit. Injury table. Don't roll a one and he's knocked off. Five, he's out! Oh! Darn! Oh, the gunner is out. Five experience for Dude Boy over there. Dude Boy? That's his name. Dude Boy. Change it now. This guy's gonna shoot the truck too. Apparently your sluggas are your best weapons. Who needs heavy shooters when you got sluggas? Four to hit. See? Stop telling that. you. <laughs> Location? <laughs> that would be Gubbins. So that would be uh, your yeah, one scrap one. counter. Yep. So you had a pen first and a four plus you pen. Yeah. And a four plus he drops the scrap. Oh, wow. you're lucky. So my driver's going to shoot his knob. Try to get him off mine. With a slugger? With a slugger. Which is an instant death. AP1. Strength 10 weapon, apparently. Apparently, yeah. It's a destroyer <laughs> hit in this game. So watch out, Knob, the most terrifying weapon. Oh, he was too busy driving. One more slugger. Slugger into the truck. Knock out that engine. Misses. Oh. So this guy's gonna charge Gibbs it. So he needs a four inch charge because of the difficult terrain. Oh, that's at least four. Jump on top of the tire, jump on top of his scrap. So we're gonna go into this fight first, starting with initiative four. So you get some auto hits on his knob. So three auto hits, wounding on threes, because he didn't charge this time. So two wounds, and you get to add one to this because he's already stunned. And you cool. got it, you got it, he's out. So knob is out, but no more experience for that because he was already knocked down. And we have this fight, both at initiative three. We'll do these guys first, four attacks and on fours. Two hits, and wounding on fours because it's Fury's charge. That's a wound. It was a slugger that hit you, so you're gonna fail the five up because of that. See? Oh, come on! Sluggas, the destroyer weapons of Gorka Morka. Injury table, plus one. Oh, natural one is always a one, so yeah. that's nothing. And he gets to hit back. No. Hitting on fours. No. Nope, okay, so that would be, that's it. Because we don't even talk about really tie combats and stuff. So end of the turn, your knob is gone, Lee. Mm -hmm. And that's not enough for a bottle test yet though, because you've only lost one guy. But uh, Josh has lost three guys, which is enough for a bottle test. So at the beginning of each of his turns, he will have to make one. Like right now. Leadership seven on your, your knob. Oh, it fails it! And he bottles out! Which means you drop the scrap from the vehicle on a one. Why don't you roll that really quick? You're fine. And this guy has to take a leadership test to keep his. And he, oh, he drops it! Oh, that's too bad. So you only get one scrap counter. Let's count up experience and level up. Time to do some bookkeeping. First off, what happens to the knob? Serious injury table. D66, black is the 10s. 42 is full recovery. I burn! <laughs> and then we had all four of your boys level up, but wow. your knob and your spanner did not. I actually have... So there's three, three boys that leveled up? There's four boys. Where's the four boy? <clears throat> he's marked as spanner too. Oh, I see. So that says spanner, but he's actually a boy. So he's boy number four. So they all leveled up, so let's start. Boy number one, what happens to him? 2d6, seven. So that's plus one initiative or leadership, so four plus is leadership. So he goes up. Thankfully, you won this, so your knob went up a leadership two, otherwise he'd be fighting him for the control of the mob. Boy number two, 2d6 to see how he levels up. It's five, so that's plus one strength or attacks. Four plus is attacks. Plus one attack. So slug a chopper with an extra attack, which means he'll have five attacks on a charge, two base, mm -hmm. plus the extra, plus two weapons, plus a charge. Five attacks on a charge. Stop. Boy number three. 2d6 roll to see what happens to him. 
Oh, Ooh. 12. He could choose any skill. Even any skill tree and randomly generate a skill from it. Even ones that he's not normally allowed to take. Which one are you gonna roll on? Go for odd skills. Yeah, normally he doesn't have access to odd, and odd can give you all sorts of weird stuff. So go ahead and roll a die. Let's see what it is. Two, he's a tinkerer. Woo! So yes! he's, a, he's a spanner in training. But between missions, you roll a d6, and if you roll a six, you can add any piece of gubbins to one of your vehicles absolutely free. That, yeah. That's huge. And you gotta roll a six, which we'll, we'll roll afterwards. Mm -hmm. So not yet. And boy number four, rolling 2d6, so eight. So that's plus one weapon skill or ballistic skill. So four plus is ballistic skill. So he's ballistic skill four now. Now let's roll to see how much scrap you get. You got three that you're holding, so 3d6. Nice, 12 so far. And then you get 2d3 for the ones you weren't holding. Whoa, okay, so another five right there. So let's just put that right over there. You have four boys who can work in the mine. Do you want them all to work in the mine? Yeah. So four d6 in the mines, you roll three sixes, you get a cave in. So you got 14 more. So that brings you up to 31 teeth. And you're in the seven to nine range, it only costs you five teeth. So you've got 26 teeth after this mission. Before you decide what you want to spend it on, you might as well roll for your tinkerer. On a six, you get a free gubbins. Whatever you want. Nope, not this time. You get a half a gubbins? <laughs> no. Oh. That we got the poor, poor squigs, desert squigs. Desert squigs. Let's first off do serious injury. Your gunner with the rocket launcher. Uh oh. Uh, leg wound. Okay, minus one movement. Let's uh, four plus. This is right leg. His left leg is wounded permanently. Minus one movement. So five inch movement. Not a big deal for a gunner. Other than that, he's fine. And then what's this guy? That's this one of the boys, Grotchak. Grouchak, see what happens to him. Serious oh, sorry, injury. Gorsnick, the other guy. Gorsnick. 36 is ex exactly the little, smallest number you had to roll to get full recovery. Let's so see. you're okay. 31. That's Grouchak, the other boy. Grouchak. Oh no, he's oh. dead. He's dead. But you know what? That'll gain you teeth. Actually, Because yeah. you had seven guys, which was five teeth. Now you have six, which is only two. Unless you roll a one. Didn't on your like scrap, him anyways. you didn't didn't like him anyways. He is gone. So your gunner leveled up. Yeah. So roll double six or double. Yeah, you roll double six. Hopefully roll double six. Doubles. Nine. So it's plus one wounds or toughness. So even though he has a leg wound, he now has four plus two toughness, plus one wounds. So he has two wounds. That's weird. You got to remember that. I'm so used to this, taking guys off even knobs. So he's got a leg wound, but now he's got two wounds. Figure that one out. Now let's work out your income. Now your guys that could have worked the mines were injured and they can't work the mines after a game that they were removed from play. But you do have a scrap counter and now you only have a two teeth overhead. So as long as you roll two or higher, six, oh, not bad. So you got four teeth to spend. Looking at what you are going to add to your mob, what have you decided to spend all your teeth on? Boy on a bike. You mean a spanner on a bike? A spanner on a bike, yeah. Because you need a second yeah. spanner. For every spanner, you can have one truck or buggy or track or Three bikes. Yeah. What did you arm them with? I've got a uh, slugger chopper, flak armor, and he has a twin link shooter on his, on his bike. Awesome. That's cool. Anything else? And I bought extra armor plates from a truck. So just one of them? Yeah, it gives me a six up save. Yeah, so anytime you hit any location, snap it on there. It's six up save against penetrating hits. You can actually have up to six armor plates, each one giving you plus one armor to a maximum of four, but you can still go beyond the three that would give you four up armor because you could have gubbins destroyed mid-game, and that way you have extras to continue giving you your four up armor. Are you going to use your teeth for anything, Josh? I'm going to hold on to them. I'm going to keep the band really nice and small and cheap and hopefully play one really good game where they get really good. Yeah, get lots of experience just from being the smaller mob. That's it for this game. Links in the video description below for our other games for today. And remember, don't forget that we have our special offer going on that if you become a Vault member from the link below, even if you cancel, you still get access to the entire Gorka Morka campaign. That offer is only valid until our second set of, of battle reports go out for the Gorka Morka campaign, which is one week after these ones have come out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Gorka Morka. Happy Wargaming.